Hi guys, Dean here with another Make It Work episode. Those apples you picked last weekend can be used in more than just apple pies. I'm here to show you how. Let's make the Kentucky Cider. We start off with our glass and let me show you this really fun thing that I like to do with thin lemon slices. I just lay them down on the inside of the glass like so and pour some ice cubes over top. The ice cubes now press those lemons right up against the side of the glass and it looks really cool. In this drink, we just build the ingredients one over top of the other, starting with an ounce and a half of great Kentucky bourbon. And three ounces of apple cider. And a little bit of Cocktail Essentials single pressed lemon juice. That single pressed lemon juice is just going to bring a little bit of more tart flavor into this drink. And we'll give it a little stir with the straw and top it with some ginger beer. There we go. And last but certainly not least, a slice of apple right from the center of the apple. So neat looking. And there you have it, the Kentucky Cider. And now on to the caramel apple cider. We start with a mixing glass filled with ice cubes, one ounce of rye whiskey, and half an ounce of a butterscotch liqueur. Nice and sweet and tasty. And here we come in with one and a half ounces of seasonal apple cider. There we go. Followed, of course, with the master of mixes, sweet and sour mix. Real lemons from California mixed with cane sugar. And we'll give this a good shake. Here we go. We will now strain this over top of some fresh ice and a fun caramel as a garnish. And here we have the caramel apple cider. And there you have a couple of cocktail recipes to use up all those extra apples. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.